got an update. They've pushed this opening time up. They're now saying 745 at the earliest is when these lanes are going to be reopening. We see the FedEx truck is still on its side, so they still have a ways to go. But look at the Sky 7 image of the backup. That is the big story here. All these people who are waiting just to get to the 66th Avenue exit where they are being forced off the freeway. We are hearing some frustrations from drivers when they reach this point. A few have yelled out their windows at CHP to open up the lanes. Um, we've even heard a few R-rated words. So uh, a lot of frustration here in this backup. If you can avoid it, you should. Take a closer look at the accident scene and you'll see that overturned FedEx truck and a sedan. They crashed and still need to be cleared out of here. And then they also have to gather all their evidence. Uh, the driver of the sedan was killed. He's been described as a Hispanic male. That's all we know about him. The driver of the big rig is at the hospital. He was also hurt. This is southbound 880. This is near the Coliseum in Oakland. Cars again exiting at 66. Not allowed to pass through here at all. All lanes are closed. The CHP is, uh, we asked them to explain to frustrated drivers why they shut down all the lanes. Because somebody did die on our freeway this morning, uh, we feel it's our, we, our duty to shut down the freeway, to comb through all evidence and the entire scene, to process the scene, uh, to ensure that uh, the victim, the victim's families, that everyone gets the best service they can from the California Highway Patrol. This happened at 2.50 this morning, so we're coming up on four hours of this scene being here. Uh, they don't know the cause yet of the crash. They're still looking into it, um, but they've got a lot of investigation left to do and a huge backup to deal with, so avoid this area if you can. Live in Oakland, Amy Holyfield, ABC7 News.